Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is Tuesday, May 28th, 2019, and I'm recording in Rochester, New York. I'm wanting to do a video today in relation to my schizophrenia on religion. I became an atheist around 2012, I think. Um, I was raised Catholic, and then even after I left the Catholic Church for many years, I was members of other denominations. I went to the Baptist Church, I went to Pentecostal, Assemblies of God. I switched all over the place. Um, never became Jewish or Muslim, um, but that's in, those two religions are also important for this video because they present the same problem. Um, I became an atheist because of four men who are known as the four horsemen of new atheism. Christopher Hitchens, who died, he had cancer. Richard Dawkins, who's an evolutionary biologist. Sam Harris, who's a neuroscientist and philosopher on YouTube. Um, and Dale, Dale McDermott, something like that, I forget his last name. He wasn't as influential with me as the other three. Um, but those four men were the basic reason I became an atheist. So what is being an atheist have to do with schizophrenia. Well, one of the problems of any psychosis is religious delusions. Or even if you have a mental illness that's not a psychotic disorder, um, being mentally ill, you might be susceptible to having other people control you and tell you what to do and take advantage of you financially, emotionally, even sexually, I guess. Um, people can abuse you even if you're an adult if you're mentally ill and you're susceptible to being lonely and not having any friends, joining a religion might seem like a perfect way to be around people and, and make friends. I don't think it is. Um, I think it lends itself to religious delusions and um, reinforces religious hallucinations. It reinforces dependence on other people telling you what to do and how to live your life. Um, but the most important part is religious delusions. I mean, religion itself is not considered a mental illness, but um, if you're mentally ill, you might be taken advantage of financially. You might have people telling you what to do and controlling you in every aspect of your personal life, whether it's your sex life or um, who your friends are. Um, do you date or do you not date? Um, are you allowed to hang out with certain races of people? Because the more conservative religious people um, are often against interracial dating. And so there are religious cults out there that keep blacks and whites separate from each other. Um, so I'm basically talking more about fundamentalist religions, um, extremely conservative ones, whether they be Catholic or Protestant or even Muslim or Jewish or Hindu or Buddhist. Any kind of fanatical religious doctrine is not good for people who are mentally ill. It only reinforces delusions. It reinforces dependence on other people telling you what to do and controlling your personal life, your financial life, your sexual life. Um, if you want to stay independent as an adult and stay free with your own mind, um, don't fall into the trap of joining a religion. Um, I can't say you should become an atheist, although I recommend it. Um, but uh, at the very least, avoid religious people who are on the extreme fundamentalist, right-wing type religious doctrine. Um, look up the videos of Sam Harris on YouTube. Um, He's a neuroscientist and a philosopher. The main reason I became an atheist was him. Look up Christopher Hitchens, the late Christopher Hitchens. Um, watch his videos on YouTube. Look up um, Richard Dawkins, who's an evolutionary biologist. Look up his videos on YouTube or on the internet in general. Um, and like I said, Dale McDermott, I don't know if that's the, his real name. I didn't write a script for this. I'm sort of winging it as I go along. Um, you could look up his videos too, but I don't know as much about him as I do as the other three. Um, and then there's a fifth uh, 
atheist that I've become a big fan of on YouTube. His name is Aaron Ra. His name is spelled A-R-O-N-R-A. Um, and it's pronounced Aaron, not Aaron. He likes to point that out. It sort of irritates him if you call him Aaron because it's not his name. Um, but he's a free thinker and he's his very good logical reasons not to believe in God and why you should become an atheist, why it makes sense to take a scientific approach to life. And he doesn't necessarily directly address the issue of mental illness and people who are mentally ill joining a particular religion. That's why I'm bringing it up because Aaron Ra is a very good logical person and he's very well versed in science. Um, and a lot of his videos are about evolution, which is a fact. Evolution is a fact. Um, and a lot of right-wing Christian religious conservatives, as well as Muslims and Jewish, um, believe that evolution is a lie, that it didn't happen, and that the earth is only 6,000 years old, and Adam and Eve was a true story, and it really happened. Those kinds of beliefs are foolish because they don't have any evidence to back them up. Um, but that's the only, only the starting point of why becoming an atheist makes sense. And if you have a mental illness, it just makes all the more sense to become an atheist and to listen to some logical thinking people on YouTube. And again, that's Aaron Ra, Sam Harris, um, Christopher Hitchens, Richard Dawkins, and Dale, Dale McDermott. I think that's his name. I'm not sure about that. I didn't write a, a script for this video. Maybe I should have. I'll try better next time. If you have any suggestions or comments about this video, please leave um, comments in the comment section. I don't censor anybody and I don't block people just because they disagree with me. But uh, also I wanted to talk about the issue of homelessness for the mentally ill. Not all people who are homeless are mentally ill. But uh, if you're mentally ill, the main reason that you might become homeless is if you stop taking your meds. I know the side effects of these medications are can be very nasty sometimes, but I don't see how being homeless can be more attractive than the side effects of your psychiatric medications. I mean, I live in Rochester, New York. If I was homeless, especially during the winter, it would be very, very cold and very, very painful and very, very uncomfortable to be homeless in the dead of winter in Rochester, New York. So stay on your meds and keep yourself busy during the day. Keep up your personal hygiene, take a shower, wash your clothes, shave, um, you know, women, same thing. Keep up your personal hygiene, wash your clothes, shave your legs if that's what you wanna do. Um, you know, whatever helps you just keep your basic appearance, your basic hygiene well, and clean, um, this goes for men and women. <clears throat> it also helps you feel better internally anyways when you look at least clean, if nothing else, on the outside as opposed to letting yourself go, letting your personal hygiene go and your personal grooming. So that's all I have to say for now. If anybody has any suggestions on how to improve my videos or anything else that they might wanna criticize, be my guest. I don't censor people, like I said.